Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from exitautomation.com and welcome to part 9 of our Cucumber with Selenium course. And in this video, we are talking about listeners in much greater detail. Alright, so let's get started. So in our last video, we discussed how to work with this sng.xml file, how we created this and I also discussed how we have upgraded our code with the latest version of everything. And today, we are going to be working with the TestNG listeners. So what is this TestNG listeners and why are they really, really helpful? So if we could jump back to the Safari browser and just search for what is called as TestNG listeners. And if you go to the website here, testng.org, and you can see there are something called as listeners. So you can probably search that. And you can see there is something called as test ng listeners so if i select this you can see there are various different types of listeners available for test ng so you can see there is something called as i annotation transformer i annotation transformer 2 i hookable i invoked method listener i method interceptor i reporter i suite listener I test listener. So these are different kinds of listeners and they are used for different purposes. And as you can see, I test listener is something which is used for testing purpose, especially if your test starts, if your test fails, or if your test successes, or if your test is skipped, or if your test is fail, but within success percentage, or if the test is starting, or if the test is finishing. So all these different sort of hooks are basically being provided by what is called as this I test listener. And similarly, if you see there is something called as I reporter, and if you go to the Java docs, you can see that it supports various different kinds of methods as well. Something like generate report. Similarly, there is one more listener. This is very, very helpful, which is called as I invoked method listener. So if you see I invoked method listeners, they also have different kinds of uh, methods, something like after invocation, and before invocation. So these are called every time if the method is being invoked. So these are some of the very, very interesting listeners TestNG has got. And we are going to be discussing about one of the most basic listeners, which is nothing but the IE test listener. And again, this is very, very common and it's been used a lot in Java testing world. So I guess we are going to be discussing about this with TestNG. So the first thing which we'll be doing is to create what is called as a listener class file. And again, the listener class file can sit anywhere. You can also create a separate folder and then you can put that listener or you can create the listener within the runner because runner makes more sense. So I'm just going to be creating a new class file here and I'm going to be calling this as ng test listener. And then within this listener, you can see that I am going to be including some of the new implement interface methods here. So as you can see, once I bring this implements of IE, it just brings me up all the different kinds of interfaces TestNG has got as well. And one of the most important thing which I'm going to be discussing, and one of the most basic interface that we'll be discussing today is the IE test listener. So once I hit that, you can see that there is a bulb symbol coming in which shows me that implement this method because there is an interface, you have to implement the methods within your type, which is nothing but your test ng class file. So you can see that the text is very, very small. For sure, you're gonna be complaining me that the text is very, very small. So I'm just gonna to go to the preference and then I'm gonna to go to the editor, probably the font, and then I'm gonna be increasing the size to maybe 25 and then I'm going to hit OK and you can see that now the text is very very bigger and it looks so cool as well and I'll be just hitting Alt Enter and you can see there is something called as uh, implement methods so I'm just going to implement all these different methods that I just spoke about the on test start, on success, on test failure, on test skipped, failed but within success percentage on start and on finish so I'm going to just just hitting OK and you can see that's really, really cool. All the implementations are there already for us. Just the method body is there, not the implementation itself. So you can just put a system dot write line or maybe system dot, dot print. And then you can just put something like on test start. So every time when the test is starting, this particular guy is going to be uh, invoked 
and then here if we just put on test success which means this is going to be called when the test successes and if there is any failure happens within our test then this method is going to be invoked and similarly if the test has been skipped for some reason then this method is going to be invoked and similarly you can see with the name the percentage which means you can also put a percentage of the failures being invoked so you can just call that as well like passing percentage and failing percentage which is used for reporting purpose you can do that and then again this is for on test start and you can see this is on test start here and this is just on start so before starting the test this is going to be called for the first time even before the test is being started right so this is on start and this is going to be on finish right i'm just going to be saving all these guys and now if i call this test.xml file for sure this particular methods are not going to be invoked the reason is because as you can see the screwy line here states that this particular class file has never been used which means we have to somehow use this listener somewhere within our code so that i can make use of this listener and once again that's where this xml file is very very handy as we discussed in our previous video if you just add a listener here something like this and if you specify the listener where it is actually sitting so our listener is basically this ng test listener so if i specify this guy something like this if i save this and now if i run this test it is going to be running and you can see that the screwy line has also been gone which means this listener can listen now with all the events which is going to be happening from this test in the .xml file right so now I'm just going to be right clicking this XML file and then I'll be just running this XML file. So just note here in the console at right line, once I start that test, you can see we have an on start so that's been called first. And then there is on test start, which is called next. And then it's opening the browsers, doing blah, blah, blah. And then we can see there is a failure. And that's why we have this on test failure being invoked. And then you can see this keep on running and then this on finish has been invoked right so all these listeners are being called regardless of the test being executed or not so these listeners are once again as I said they are very very handy and they are used in many different purposes and basically we are going to be using this listener for our reporting purpose which is nothing but our extent reporting that we'll be discussing next in our video where the reporting of the extent report is going to be very very awesome and this listeners plays a very important role to hold some of our important properties so that's it guys this is how we can work with testing the dot xml file listener and how you can include the listener within the xml file in the next video we are going to be talking about the extent reporting and once again extent reporting is a little bigger topic we have already discussed about extent reporting in advanced framework where it also supports parallel execution support and all those stuff and also we discussed extent reporting in selenium c sharp again those videos are available in youtube channel for free so please go ahead and watch there where we have discussed how we can make use of extent reporting much efficiently so let's stay tuned for so once again thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for our next video thank you